Hello and welcome to IPC Tips. My name is Igor Alcantara and today we're going to learn how to remove circular references. Let's start by opening the data model viewer of our application. So let's click data model viewer and let's see the data model that we have currently. So as you can see, display by this red dashed lines, we do have a circular reference. Let's understand what a circular reference is. So let's start following the links and let's start, we can pick any table, so let's start with product table. So product linked to product subcategory and product subcategory links to product cat and product cat links to product category color which links back to product which links then again to broad subcategory and then it goes on and on. So there is a look that can result in ambiguous results in your visualization and it's also a problem with performance. So all the time where we have a circular reference problem you have a link that should not exist. There are two tables linked based on a certain field and they should not be linked. So usually and most of the time, this is caused by a synthetic key and synthetic table. If you want to learn more about synthetic key and synthetic table, please make sure you check our other videos. This case is different. There is no synthetic table and there is no synthetic key. So let's start by looking at the key values because this data model naming convention has the keys name as key. It's no problem if your data model is different. Just look at these little icons to see the keys and try to find some naming convention that might help you. So in this case, let's take a look at the link from product to product category color. So they link based on this field, product subcategory key. And then that table links to other two tables product subcategory based on a key and then to product cat based on a field that is not a key. That's the English product category name. So we have product category name in two tables. So that is probably the link that is causing this problem because if we remove this link then product subcategory will link uh, to product category and then to product category color, but those two tables will not link to one another directly. So removing that field will remove the circular reference. How should we remove it? Can we simply delete uh, that column from one of these tables? That is always an option if they mean the same thing. So one table has basically the colors of a particular product category like your shoes, you have a particular model of shoes that you can sell in black and white and blue and red for example. And product category has the actual category for that product. So in this case it seems to me that they uh, have the same type of value. And we can even click the column and then click this button to see the details and then we can see the cardinality. So there is a subset ratio of 80%. So 80% of all of the distinct values of this column exist in the product category table. And then if we click the same field in the other table, then we see the subset ratio is 100%. So product category color has all of the possible values for that particular field, but product cat has only 20% of those. So there are some products where I have um, a category name in the product category color uh, table, but not in the product cat. We can then check the, the key that links uh, these tables to the product subcategory. And then we'll see that from product category color, the subset ratio is 18.4%. Uh, so only 18.4% of the products subcategories has a color associated to it. So um, one option is to remove 
uh, this column from one of these tables and I would uh, do it from the table with the smaller subset ratio. So let's find prodcat and remove that column. So let's switch from data module viewer to data load editor and let's find that table. So let's use the search button. Let's make sure we're searching in all of the sections. And let's search for prod cat table. So that's our table. Let's then find that field. It is this English product category name. That's the name of the field. So then I can comment that field and remove from the data module. Let's load the data and see the result. Once I finish loading, I don't see any error message. I don't see any warning message. That's a very good sign. Let's close the load editor and let's switch then our view to the data model viewer. And now we see the tables linked to one another. There is no island table, no table without a link, and there is no circular reference. There is no loop. That's how we fix circular reference. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and leave a comment uh, saying what you think about this video and giving suggestions for other topics that you like us to cover. See you next time.